Today we are going to be learning Bugs on Rugs, a game which can be played with humans. Yeah! Bugs on Rugs is one of the best insect-based set collection games on the market today. Look at all these cute, creepy, crawly creatures. Aren't you excited about getting them into your hand? Of course you are, and you should be. They all have a different way to earn you points at the end of the game. They also have a special wall ability, which is activated if they are the leftover bug at the end of a round. Place the end card in the deck based on the number of players that you have. Then create the play area consisting of the floor and the wall. The floor is made up of two cards for every player, plus one. So in a three-player game, that means seven cards. One at a time, players will draft cards into their hand until there is only one card left over. That last card will make its way up into the wall. Get, get, get in there. Then the wall power is activated. In the case of the ladybug, this means that every player gets to draw a new card into their hands. Was the end card revealed this round? If not, set out seven more cards and play another round. Once the end card is revealed, finish out the current round. Then you'll be able to score out all of the bugs that you've collected during the game. Each bug has a different way of scoring, like the ladybugs, which are worth 25 points if you have exactly four of them. The ants are worth 5 points each, if you have the most of them. And the beetles, which alternate their value depending if you have an odd or even number of them. Keep track of the scores in this handy dandy provided score pad, so you can tell who is the best bug collector person. And that's Bugs on Rugs, a game that takes about 2 minutes to learn, 3 minutes and 20 seconds to master, and 20 minutes to play.